talk about this because this is eight consecutive weeks of beach fun. It is. It's no excuse for anyone from Houston to say, there's nothing to do in Port A. There's always something to do in Port A. And with Beachtoberfest, there's eight weeks of things to do. We actually have uh, 14 events this year that are going to be taking place over those eight weeks. Uh, most of those are held over the weekend. So it's a great time to head out on a Friday and come down to Port A and enjoy the amazing scene and experience of Port A and experience one of our many events that we have. Well, it's also great timing because it starts September 13th, runs through the end of October. The weather is a little cooler. Perfect. It's a short drive. And whether you're a music lover, a food lover, a culture lover, you guys really have a little bit of everything. We do, because when folks come to Port A, they're amazed at what they're finding. You know, we're growing. There's so many amazing experiences from lodging. You know, we always say there's lodging for every lifestyle, every budget. Well, there's an experience for everybody, too. And so Beachtoberfest tries to touch on those from the music scene to the foodie scene to the fishing scene to the beach water sports scene and then the culture and history. Well, let's talk about the accommodations because yeah. you, you started on that. Anything from cozy beach cottages to camping to hotels, vacation rentals. I mean, the options are really endless. Endless. In fact, we even have glamping. Nobody even realizes that we got Camp Koyakan, which is just off the beach, and so that's another option. You know, the tent, stay yeah. in an actual tent, yes. we call it glamping. We have one in Port A, and it's very popular, but we have the traditional vacation homes. We have the traditional hotels and motels and condos and the cottages, and they're everywhere, so it's not in just one part of town. It's spread out, so you can be close to everything, but then what everybody does is gets a golf cart. You know, at, when, you, when you're in Port A, you get your golf cart and you cruise around. You put the dog in the back, grandma and grandpa, uh, the kids, babysitter, and well, go. Well, Grandma and Grandpa are with amazing. the kids, That's and then right. we go out. No, there I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that is great, though, because yeah. you can, as we've mentioned when you were on the show previously, Jeff, you can go as your, like, romantic television co-host partner. Oh, you can yes. go right. with your family. Let's talk about some of these activities, in addition from where to stay. 18 miles of sandy beaches, so you're right there on the Gulf of Mexico. You want to surf or boogie board or go dolphin watching. Everything. In fact, we're, we're surrounded by water. Everybody loves taking the ferry over, so right away you know you're on island life. And we call the Porte experience island life, and it's what you experience and what your island life is. And this year and this fall, it's all about Beachtoberfest. You know, one of the things I have to mention, uh, and I would be in trouble if I didn't, one of the biggest markets that we're getting to Beachtoberfest is all the, the ladies' weekends away. It's all the ladies get together with their friends, say, this is our weekend away. That's becoming our big audience. But they're there to experience everything in Porte from the beaches, the laid back uh, music scene, our art scene, like I said, our culture history, and everybody loves the music and food. It really is a great girls weekend. Plan it, it now because it, it it's just gonna be fantastic. And we've gotta talk about the food because earlier mm -hmm. um, you did, we had a sample of this about the throwdown competition that's, that's right. going on, but the food, oh my gosh, you can eat your way through Port A. You sure can. Uh, we have so many different types of culinary restaurants to experience. Of course, the staple is the seafood, and it's the best, and it's fresh. But And one of the things that folks don't realize, too, is you go out fishing, and you bring that fish into the restaurant, and we have over 12 restaurants who will actually prepare the fish that you caught that night. And that is something so unique about our destination. B-Y-O-F. That's right. Bring your, your own, own fish. fish. And prepare it and eat it that same night. And you know, can't you imagine you put on a nice Hawaiian shirt and some flip-flops, you go out for a nice dinner. Mm. Let's talk a little bit more about some of the specific events that are happening right. over the course of the eight-week Beachtoberfest, starting with the Texas Super Chef Throwdown. That's right. So that's uh, September 18th through 21st. It's coming up real soon. We still have tickets uh, left. A few of them left. They're going fast. 30 chefs from throughout Texas are coming in to battle it out to make up Team Texas that we take to the World Food Championships in October. So some of the top chefs, we've got several from the Houston area that will be competing in that event over those four days. And that's a legit competition. It's really fantastic. The next one is, of course, the Poor Day Live Music Fest, which is the second annual. It's second annual, and uh, we're going to actually do two every year starting next year. So we've got 10 stages throughout town, uh, starting at Palmia, over at Bronze, over at Giggity's, Treasure Island, with 25 bands performing over those two days. So one ticket, one price gets you in to see all those bands, and you can take your golf cart around to the different venues and go stage hopping, 
or you can hop on the Magic Bus that we provide and, and take folks around on Friday and Saturday as well. It is such a good deal, by the way. Tickets starting at just $12. The Old Town Fest really celebrates the rich history of Port Aransas. It really does. It, 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 there's a great uh, thing that we tell folks all the time when they come to Port A because they're always, folks are staying longer and longer. It used to be a two day stay, now it's a five, seven day stay. And the Eight Wonders of Port A really is the theme of what the Old Town Fest is. And it's a chance to discover what Port A was, even before it was Port A, mm. Tarpon City. It's such an amazing town, great history, and our uh, Preservation Society and our museum and puts on a great show that weekend and then coupled with that is this great uh, surfing festival which is called the expression session and it's a great festival that combines adults and canines oh my gosh it's so cool that's on october 19th basically that's a right. must see event right must see and must do absolutely kids adults and canines all welcome to participate and last but not least the beach pumpkin hustle 5k and this is an 8 a.m event on october 26th it's a little early you know, so so get in the night before, and this is where families like to have a lot of fun, dress up in costume, and run a 5K. But what's really cool about the event is we do something a little different. We have a post party for the medals, for the for the best costumes, and for the top finishers, and it's a s'mores party. Oh, it's nice! A yes. S'mores party with the kids and the families, and it's so much fun. So we want everybody from Houston bring out the the families, uh, bring the companies out, let's have company competition, and have a great time at the Beach Pumpkin Hustle. And the folks that are running the jailbreak event are certainly going to come back for the beach pumpkin hustle to take it down a notch i love it running a 5k <laughs> in costume yes. doesn't get much better than that jeff hence it's great to go. see you glad to be here hope to see you guys down in port a yeah so many things to do during a beach toberfest and if you would like to plan your next getaway you can log on to visit portaransas.com